This, this is what winter camping is. Non-stop until you sit around the fire for five minutes. Eat something, try to get warm. Then you come back out and start chopping all over again. I don't know why we do this. I don't know how we ever have any fun, but we do. It's a very strange thing. Probably some masochistic, damaged mind likes this sort of thing. But it is a beautiful place, gotta admit. This is my massive knife. Because an axe wasn't manly enough. This is my pile of so far gathered kindling. <clears throat> Up there we shall sleep. <clears throat> Pretty much right there. Over there we shall cook and get warm. Just yonder. And this tree I shall strip bare all of the uh, fire stuff. And there is some of our gear. <sighs> This closes Andrew's log, Winter Camping 2021, log 2B. Andrew's Winter Camping Log 2021, log 3-4. We've just finished setting up our, um, our, our sleeping quarters. I'd like you to first of all look at the canopy we're sleeping under. Very lovely, lots of a nice roof of branches there. Look down. There's the walls, and here are the sleeping quarters. This first bunk is mine. And the, uh, the other two are the other two lads. Fireplace is going to be just yonder. And, um, well, yeah, I've built up there's a bit of a slant going here, so I built up a little a little mound of snow right there. So that when I get into bed, I fold the tarp over, and then I have a little uh, anti-roll hill, if, if you will. That will prevent me from rolling down into the ditch in which I stand now. That's a pot which we're gonna cook in. If you're wondering why I film in vertical, it's because, uh, portrait mode, it's because I uh, like portrait mode. That's why. Okay, this is the end of this log. I'll catch up with you later. Hi there. This is Andrew's log, 2021 winter camping, 34 BQ. As you see our, oh, there's some snowfall. We're chopping some wood. The second day in, nightfall again approaching, sunset is about an hour away. Uh, less than that actually, I think, at this point. Beautiful lake there, beautiful blue sky. We have, uh, we have here is me salvaging some wood for the fire. It's a dead tree, so there's no no live tree burning. No, no, none of that. And this is how we knock it down. So I've already done a lot of cutting. I'm going to now try to knock it down. Watch out for falling snow. It's hard work, winter camping. Ah. Here we go. <laughs> oh, my word. Oh, my God. It's strong. Oh, the force is strong with this one. Okay. So, ordinarily, with these old dead ones, you can usually crack them, but I haven't quite cut it halfway. Uh, even though the core looks to be relatively hollow. So often you can just do that, no break, but 
This one obviously requires some extra love, extra attention, so I shall give it. And then, and then we shall have a, a sizable uh, fuel reserve for our fire tonight. Okay, over and out for now. Andrew's log, 34BQ, uh, part two, continuing on with attempting to gather some wood. It may still be too strong because that's a really solid wood in there. It was only rotten on one side. Not sure if you can see that, but it was only rotten here. Anyway, but it might be ready to go with some energy. Push. So I'm going to try once again. I just don't want to miss it for the camera. Take all this work to film and then miss it, right? So. So I shall go like this and begin again. Simply start to cause it to rock and see if it can. Oh, yeah, that's good. Really, it's actually extremely hard, but I'm very, very strong. So I have to watch. There's a slight possibility of it bouncing back and catching me, even though I'm behind the stump. But you have to be careful because when trees go down, they can. They can behave irrationally, and why not? If your entire world collapsed, you might behave irrationally. Yes, right. Andrew's log, uh, fireplace, fire fuel gathering log, uh, 34BQ, part three. This is how I transport the uh, prepared wood. So this is one piece, put it in a sled, another piece ready to go there, and then some more cutting to do. Then what we do is we imitate um, an animal, either a husky wolf, in this case, husky wolf is most applicable, but it's not unlike, it's not unlike imitating a uh, mule. You just use your back and pull. And you pull as you pull, you survey the carnage wrought by your own hands and your, the hands of your comrades. Inspect your load it has not fallen away. Then you continue to march. What do we do? So here we have Oh yeah, we're not friends. We don't do this with friends. We're all mortal enemies. It's a survivor take all scenario. None of us has gained the upper hand yet. You can meet the members. Here's Tim. Some say he's a Nazi. There's James. Some say he talks sometimes. This is our fire, and there's our firewood supply, of which I'm adding this log. This is the end of uh, part three of Fire Fuel Gathering log series. Hey, guys. Andrew's log, Winter Camping 2021, final log. The trip is over. We have, um, we have now entered the unpacking stage. And then 
it's finally home to a shower and bed, which is actually my favorite part of the whole ordeal. <laughs> but don't tell them that. All right, we'll see you again next year.